Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for November 2022. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. If you enjoy the messages, I do hope you'll subscribe. Hit that like button and also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my other videos. And if you would like a personal reading, I do those as well. Um, I have been saying for the newer viewers, I am a psychic medium, so I don't use tarot in my personal readings. That information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys for November. All right, so your overall energy, we have the Knight of Wands. So things may be a little slowed down during this month. That's the first message I got. I really want to say that you need to take inspired action, but only when you really feel fired up about it. If you don't, I wouldn't. And that's something that we train ourselves to do, is knowing when to take steps at the right time. When it's unnecessary, we don't. When we really feel pushed by it, we do. That's kind of natural, you know, kind of common sense. Not always. It's sometimes just a, a feeling, a spiritual thing. It's getting used to what the difference is. The should I, the old way of doing things because I have to and this is the way you're supposed to do things or I do it only from a place of this is my passion, this is what I want. So I think there's just going to be a need to take a step back and be able to decipher between those two things and decide what's most important and figure that out before you take any action towards anything new during this month. I hope that all made sense. Okay, so the current energy, we have the three of pentacles, the hangman. Yeah, this is a time, you guys have been through a lot of this. It's like push and pull with the energy of the universe this year. Sometimes it's good to try to work things out with others. Other times we have to take a step back and we have to just take a beat, period. We don't do anything, don't take any action. And I feel like that's kind of what Spirit's saying is just take a, a break from something. Because if you go towards it, it may not work out the way that you're hoping it will. And then we have the Queen of Wands. If there's a need to focus on true confidence, like getting yourself back to a place, if for some reason your confidence has been knocked or maybe you're just not feeling as secure about something as you did prior to, that's why. Because it's like this is a month where you're going to be rebuilding, getting more confident again, finding yourself again. And it happens all the time. So if it's a frustrating, I can hear frustration coming from people like, screw this. Like I've been doing this for so long, I don't want to do it anymore. But we have moments always in our growth where we have to take a step back and look and see what's creating that feeling that we're having and just work on it. Doesn't mean the whole month is going to be completely dedicated on that. It just feels like there needs to be some focus in that area. In the near future, we have the Hierophant in reverse. There's your, to me, that's your card. And then the Two of Swords. So you're not going to have a problem making a decision. It's like with the Hierophant in reverse, in this case, I'm going to say it's not going to have as much to do with your faith in a, in a situation. I just don't think you're going to overthink things. I don't think you're going to put too much weight on the should be or shouldn't be. I think you're going to be more focused on the actual feelings, right? So there's two ways of doing things. And I'm, I'm trying to spit this out the best that I can. So bear with me. Sometimes we do things from our intuition, right? Other times we do it from our brains, our human brains. And in this case, I just don't think that it's going to be a decision that you allow to be too much up to your intuition. You're going to make it from a place of this is the direction I need to go and I just need to do it regardless of how I feel intuitively. And that's okay too. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Perfect. Because no matter what, it's going to work out. This is truly um, significant abundance in any area. So does it mean it's going to be in your financial situation? Not necessarily. It could be. But whatever choice you make, and I don't think you're going to have a difficult time making it, it's going to be the right choice. So don't doubt yourself. Allow this little bit of time because the near future could be the second week of November. Give yourself a little time to think this through. 
and make sure that you know exactly what you want to do. Once you pull the trigger, this is going to be the result. It is the Ten of Pentacles. So what you don't see coming, the Two of Cups with the Ace of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's something that you're going to get clarity about. I, I, I'm not sure you're expecting. For some of you, this could be that you're, you realize you just don't see eye to eye with someone, and that's okay. And if it creates a sense of imbalance, you're going to understand why. So Spirit's like, well, we're going to show you exactly what the issue here is, whether it's in a partnership in business, love, friendship, whatever it is, you're going to understand why it's either going to have to separate from your life um, or just be done with, which is difficult to hear. But sometimes we have to just separate from people and situations because they give us a, a sense of, I don't feel good. I just don't like the way that I feel around this relationship or in this relationship or how we communicate, something of that sort. So what Spirit wants you to focus on is the Ace of Wands and then the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. Don't be concerned about any kind of competition. Um, I do I think somebody's probably going to want to apologize? Absolutely. Do I think there's going to be a little bit of reminiscing about the way things were? Yes. Do I think you might have somebody who competes with you or... Is Spirit trying to tell you not to be worried about somebody who's competitive with you? Absolutely. That could be the reason why something's falling apart. Maybe you have a friendship where somebody was constantly doing that and you just don't have time for it. You need to focus too much on new things, new passions, new desires in your life, and you don't have time to go backwards into anything. And maybe the memory of that, Spirit's like, don't forget, you know, some of these things from the past, as much as they may have seemed great at one time, you have to look back and remember that it was fairly difficult. Maybe there were a lot of arguments and drama and we forget that as time passes, but spirit doesn't want you to forget it. You're moving on to newer things that you're going to be more invested in, um, definitely more passionate about. So that's what they want you to focus on for this month is that. Now let's see what challenge you might have. The five of pentacles walking away from something is always going to be a challenge for anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. When you have a connection, regardless of what it is, it's never easy to walk away. If there are still abandonment issues going on, that could be the reason why it's hard for you to leave somebody else behind because you have empathy for what that feels like, you know? So that could be the difficulty or the challenge of this month. And then the three of swords. Yeah, it's hard. It hurts. It's not easy. So if you have to, you know it's going to hurt and knowing that it's going to hurt is what makes people stay in things that aren't healthy for them. So I think you realize that and you know that it's probably going to be better to get through the pain of whatever this is than it is to stay in it and continue to hurt because it's definitely creating some type of feeling of I just, I keep wanting to say it's like unstable. Your energy seems to be constantly unstable and you're going to get really clear about that. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. So this Knight of Wands, if you were expecting somebody to take some action and they didn't, I can see a disappointment being there. And maybe that's part of the reason that you're feeling like you need to take a step back because their inaction can also create a little bit of a sense of, hmm, you know, my not self-worth, I like your confidence could be shaken just a little bit by someone's inaction. So then we have the three of cups. So taking a step back and focusing on things that really do bring a lot of joy into your life, if you can distract yourself with those things, I think it's going to be good to do that this month. We have the six of wands in reverse because right now taking any action towards something probably isn't going to be successful. So you Please, I know I keep repeating myself, just take a step back and allow yourself this time to see things through. The Nine of Pentacles, again, it's creating a sense of, I don't have independence. And maybe that's part of the problem is that people are used to you being more giving or more available and you're not. And you're actually focusing on yourself and wanting to be completely independent of other people and the connection. It doesn't have to be financial independence. It can be just feeling independent, period. And 
not having to rely on others for emotional support, whatever it is, if you're becoming a more um, that way and you don't need them as much, that can be difficult for other people to see. Like you say no more often or you just don't create the same type of availability that you used to. And I think that's shaking somebody or a couple people in your life. There's the hangman to confirm the hangman again. So let's look at the, which is the timeout. Three of Pentacles with the hangman here. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. So what Spirit's saying is going to be revealed to you right here in the current energy. You already know what to do to bring this back. Meaning you already know what to focus on in order to make yourself feel better. It could be your work. It could be your money. It could be whatever in your life that has to do with, I, I want to say work in general, that's what's going to bring you the most stability, the most feeling of security. Now we have the moon. Things are going to be revealed, right? That's what the moon is. Sometimes it makes you feel like you're in the dark about things. I wouldn't be so worried about that. The moon cycles are definitely going to affect you guys. The one that we just had and the next one coming. So look into the astrology. I always say I'm not an astrologer. So if you want to look at the energy and how that affects you, definitely go see where that degree of new moon or full moon is in your chart and where it lands in your chart. So the Hierophant in reverse with the Two of Swords. Then we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. I don't think there's any defensiveness needed. I think you already know you don't need to stand up for yourself and explain anything to anyone. It's nobody's business. If you want to do something, you have the right to do it. You don't have to defend yourself. Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, perfect. If there is something new that's coming into your life and you're just trusting and going with it, you're not concerned so much about the spiritual side of it, that's because you know that this is going to be a good opportunity for you. Could it be something in work and somebody else doesn't agree with it? Sure, but you know it's going to be good for you. So follow through with that because that's what's coming to you. It's like this new opportunity comes up it's going to be very successful it's going to bring you a lot of abundance into your experience and there's going to be no doubt that you don't need to explain to somebody why you're doing what you're doing so the two of cups with the ace of swords we then have the five of cups so obviously this is going to hurt it's not easy to walk away from anything whatever it may be for you but you know that anything that you love in your life that you have to leave behind is going to hurt for some period of time so I, th I think that's just what the reading's trying to say is that you're going to be aware of what you have to do in order to feel better is to, to leave this behind, whether it hurts or not. The Ace of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse again. There's nothing that you can do to work this out. I hate to be so straightforward. This isn't going to be for everybody, but I'm telling you with the two Three of Pentacles showing up, it doesn't matter how hard you try to work things out. It just doesn't seem like people can come together. It doesn't, it doesn't have to necessarily be three people. It could be two people, but there just is no fight left. Like no matter what you do, it's probably just going to keep getting worse until you finally walk away. So what Spirit wants you to focus on with the Ace of Wands, these new opportunities. Yes, you can be reminiscent. You can accept apologies if somebody did you wrong, but your focus really should be on the things that bring you passion and joy and excitement. So with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands, we have the Six Good. just means you're not going to be giving too much of yourself with the Six of Cups in reverse. You're actually going to pull back your energy. Six of Cups with the Five of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. I want to say that you may not be taking action towards others in a romantic way right now. That may not be your primary focus. Doesn't mean you're not in a healthy relationship. It just means that you're not going to be as focused on that aspect of things. And Spirit's like, just don't. It doesn't mean you can't maintain it, again, if you are. But if there's been a lot of arguing or fighting in that situation, I think you're just going to say, you know what? Thanks for the apology. I'm going to focus on me. That's pretty much what it boils down to. Okay. Let me clear this and we will get into the person that's on your mind. I will pull one card for the challenge. Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion around what to do because obviously you're clear on the fact that it could hurt. It's going to hurt to have to leave something behind. All right, let me clear this. All right, so the Knight of Wands in reverse is staying on the top, which 
Same thing I said before. I'm not going to repeat that again. Let's look at you and your person. See what's going on there. All right, so your person's energy is the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody feels like this is going to be successful no matter what. I think they there's some fear about walking away because they're they're defensive. They think this is going to turn out the way that they're hoping it's going to, but at the same time they I can't explain what I'm feeling. It's like they they're emotional. They want things to work, but at the same time they step away. It's a very confusing and conflicting energy. They could also just be focused on their own emotions a lot, and that could be a little frustrating. They don't ever see things from your perspective. For you, I feel like you're just a little tired of waiting and you're tired of being sad. So if you feel abandoned emotionally by this person, that could be what it is, is that they're just disconnected from their emotions and they're more focused on themselves. They could be very defensive about that. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, things being uh, directed towards other areas of their life that they want to make happen. It could be their money. It could be a lot of different things. The seven of pentacles for you with the four of swords and the five of cups and then the eight of wands. It feels like a lack of communication. Like you don't just want to go at this person full force. I feel like you want to think it through first because you've been hurt, obviously, a great deal here. I think you're just getting kind of tired of Dealing with the same old, same old. Let's see. I want to get a feeling from the Romance Angels. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, if you're having to end one situation and this has already been ended for you and you're just kind of curious what's going on, I think that's Spirit's way of saying if somebody's done enough damage and there's some insecurities that have been brought up to the surface or it just left you feeling disheveled work on you that's why the hangman was there best that you can until this energy heals itself and you have the ability to actually move forward retreat it's time to disconnect from the world attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and then flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others <coughs> excuse me I think this is Spirit's way of just telling you, yes, um, you're going to have to let go of the situation from the past and focus on the future. I know I say it very matter of fact. I don't mean it that way. I have a ton of empathy for anyone going through these difficult relationship breakups. If this has been done for a while and you're tired of hearing about it in readings, it's just another indication that there's some healing that still has to be done before you move on. I know we all want to snap our fingers and just have everything happen, but unfortunately, we're here for lessons. All right, what's the other advice you might have? It's not going to go in the direction that you hope. Things are just too unstable. Yeah, this person is not available emotionally. I, I just feel like it's going to continue to create unhappiness and instability. They're not invested. Not in the way they should be to be in a relationship. And this could be reversed, but... Remember, I like to keep it to what I'm reading. I don't like switching the positions unless it comes up. Right, let's see what we have from the Lover's Oracle. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And then sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. There you will find true bliss. That connection can be tough because you know that you're still connected to somebody even though you may not physically be together. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. I've said this the entire reading. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Very important. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So the soul of the person you got to separate the two. The soul is always going to love you because you have a connection with that soul. Doesn't mean that the physical, the human, can be what you need them to be in this particular life. I always say to my clients, they're playing a role in the movie of your life. And if they're not meant to be with you because they were here to help teach you something, that was their purpose. 
doesn't make us any less angry with the human for being what they were. But once we become really aware of this whole game that we're playing here as humans, it gets a lot easier. Let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. Soulmate. So you definitely feel this way. There's definitely a connection. And no matter what, you can love somebody whether you are together or not. I don't think most of us stop loving the people that have mattered the most. So you could be 41, born on the 5th, the 4th, or the 1st of the month. And then we have, truth be told, you've got fives going on. There's 14 and 41, the opposite of each other. Truth be told, there has to be a truth here. And maybe you're realizing what the truth in the situation actually is. So you could be born on the 14th, the 1st, or the 5th. Exchanging gifts. As hard as it is to see, it is always a gift when somebody teaches you a really valuable lesson. But I feel like you're coming to the end of this cycle of really tough lessons. And you're starting to work towards understanding the gift that came from that difficult lesson. You could be 27, born on the 2nd, 7th, or the 9th of the month. And then we have Thinker. A lot of fours coming up for you this month that to me is prosperity in your finances. So pay attention to the clock. If it comes up 4-4 four, four, or four, 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 or you see a lot of fours this month, to me, they keep showing me the 10 of pentacles. That means there's going to be some things that show up in your financial life. Expected or unexpected doesn't really matter. It just feels like it's going to be a good month in that way. So you're going to feel good around your finances. All right, my loves, thank you so much. Um, sorry, because I feel like it was a little bit of a tough reading, but I hope you got the messages that you needed to get from this. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all of your support. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below or in the About section of my channel. Hope you have an amazing month, and I'll see you in the next one.